Today we're going to continue with our spring cleaning and maintenance and replace our water filters. The main whole house water filter is strictly designed to clean rust, sediment, and loose scale from the water. It's very easy to replace. Simply turn off your water supply and unscrew the housing. This filter was white when we put it in a year ago, so obviously it's been doing its job. Check the bottom of the filter canister for any sediment and rinse it out if needed, being careful not to lose the black o-ring at the top. This is a standard household filter and any home improvement store should have replacements. Little bit of difference between the new one and the old. We like these fine pour filters. These are five micron but you can use whatever size you'd like. There are several choices of materials and micron ratings. Just drop the new filter right into the housing and then screw the housing back in. And just snug it down firmly and that filter is all set. Turn your city water back on and check for leaks. Since we have a water dispenser at the sink and an ice maker, we also have charcoal water filters. One under the sink and one under the refrigerator. Since the water flow through these is so low, we only replace these once every two years. The large number on a flow pure filter tells you what type of connection is at the end. Ours is a number three, so we have to be sure to replace it with a number three so the connections will fit. The only tool you might need for this job is a crescent wrench. It's not uncommon for the fittings to be a little loose from the factory so I start by checking to make sure that they're tight. Also, be sure to pay attention to the direction of flow of the water. We have water shutoffs directly to each side of the filter. So we don't even have to turn off the outside water to change the filter. And we just have a paper towel on the floor under here because not a great deal of water is going to come out. Now install your new filter, being sure that the direction of flow is the same as it was before. And we'll write today's date on as a reminder that two years from now it'll be time to change the filter again. Now turn your city water back on, or in our case, we'll just turn the diverter valves back on. Now let's do a final check of our connections and make sure there's no signs of leaking. Before using the new filter, We'll want to run water through it to flush out the excess charcoal. All that black water may have seemed disgusting coming out of there, but it was simply activated charcoal and perfectly harmless. Just make sure you rinse it out thoroughly before using it for drinking or for making ice. Once the water runs nice and clear, we're good to go.